Kia is becoming the most hated brand when it comes to buying a new car, Dad. We have the latest JD Power US Sales Satisfaction Index study. Yes, yes. All right, for the first time in 10 years, believe it or not, and this, this already puts a question mark on the validity of this, but for the first time in 10 years, we saw the sales satisfaction, the consumer satisfaction with the new car buying process decline. And it was a precipitous decline, especially for some brands. Before we get into it, Dad, 36,879 buyers who purchased or leased their new vehicle from March to May of 2022 were included mm -hmm. in this study. The study is comprehensive analysis. The study is a comprehensive analysis of new vehicle purchase experience and measures customer satisfaction with the selling de uh, dealer. The study also measures satisfaction with brands and dealerships that were shopped but ultimately rejected in favor of the selling dealer. The study was fielded from July through September 2022. Let's cut right to the chase. Dad. Yeah. Kia has the lowest sales satisfaction score of yes. 754. Hyundai's right above them. You can't be too surprised, right? They had the biggest markups during the peak of uh, you know inventory shortages. Yeah. Well, what what this what this really says, in a nutshell, folks, in a nutshell, is that the more you overcharge people, the less satisfied they will be for having purchased that that product. Now. You, as a dealership, might be happy because you hit that home run, okay? The customer not only realizes you hit that home run, they realize they ain't never coming back to you, okay? They realize that they were taken advantage of, and so their satisfaction with the sales process is at the bottom. And, and you, have, you, as a business, have, have dissuaded that customer forever wanting to do business with you again. Short-term gains, long-term losses. Now through January 1st, type in GIFT50 and get 50% off your YAA Plus membership or GIFT150 to save $150 on your extended warranty. Go to joinyaa.com to save now. Now, last year, the score, the average score is 789 on this thousand point scale. This year it's 786. I got all sorts of qualms with what yeah. the hell they're doing, but but I, I bet you there was more than a three point, you know, three one thousandths of a percent decline. But it is not surprising to see Hyundai and Kia, who had the Telluride and Palisade, mm -hmm. that were incredibly marked up, not to mention the EV6 and the Ionic yes. 5 on the EV side, incredibly marked up. There were stories in Jalopnik, Dad, earlier this year about how Hyundai and Kia dealers wanted to kill the EV by just making it so terribly difficult to test drive them, to actually buy them. So Hyundai and Kia at the bottom of the list, Toyota. 762 points above them, Honda and Volkswagen. I'm honestly not surprised about Honda and Toyota because Toyota, for example, so much demand, people love the brand. Mm -hmm. it, it was taking like upwards of a year or to a year and a half to two years to actually get your hands on a vehicle. So I can't be too surprised that consumers were frustrated with that sales experience because it was taking so long to actually get your hands on the cars. Absolutely. And, and, and many of your Toyota and Honda dealers, um, uh, they utilized market adjustment oh, prices. Definitely. Um, and, and the only reason they they do is because they've been able to get away with it in the past. Um, so, again, the more you overcharge your customer, yeah. the less satisfied that customer is with that process. Now, on the good side, above industry average for mass market brands, you've got Chrysler, then Nissan, Mazda, Ford, Ram Jeep, GMC, Chevy, Subaru, Dodge, and Buick. So what, what stands out to you in this? Well, the thing that stands out to me in this is that Subaru is the only one that was in major short supply where their dealers, um, I guess the vast majority of their dealers, didn't overcharge their customers coming back trying to get another Subaru. Um, and so that Subaru customers remained extremely satisfied with the purchase process at their dealers. And from our experience of helping customers, you know, whatever additional dealer markups there might have been were minimal in comparison to other brands that were in extremely short supply. Uh, That's why seeing Dodge and Buick at the top of the list is not surprising. No. Dodge inventories have been plentiful relative to peers, and same with Buick. Yes. So it, it just it just points out that if you that if you don't try to take advantage of your customers, yeah. the happier they are. Let's look at luxury really quick, and I think there's an an under 
an overarching theme here that we need to hit on, which is Genesis 745 at the very bottom mm -hmm. of the ma of the luxury market. Again, Genesis, Hyundai, Kia, they're all one and the same. Volvo, Audi, Acura, Land Rover. Then you get to your luxury buyer average of 806. Then BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Lincoln, Jaguar, Infiniti, Cadillac, Lexus, Porsche, and another Stellantis brand, yes. Alfa Romeo, at the top. Now, hear me out, pups. Okay. We've talked about on this channel ad nauseum. How? It's the first one that blinks, the first OEM that starts to produce too much inventory. You know, they're going to be the ones that starts this domino effect of mm -hmm. incentives coming back, you know, deal making, et cetera, et cetera. We have now seen Stellantis brands, who are the ones that have the most inventory and the most incentives, have the highest satisfaction ratings on this JD Power, you know, mm -hmm. analysis. Yes. Is this not building the case? that we are going to go back to having a lot of inventory on dealers' lots because consumers like the experience more than going to Hyundai and Kia or Genesis or, or you know. And being taken advantage of. Crazy concept. I'm not saying people like to negotiate, but people also hate just walking into a place and being like, hey, here's $10,000 in air you got to pay for. Yes. Stellantis yeah. is the first one blinking, Dad, and everyone I think is going to have to follow him. Hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> Takeaways here, you're 100% right. This list indicates who got the most screwed and who got the least screwed. Yeah. Well, maybe that's how they should have phrased the uh, it's JD Powers who got the most screwed and who got the least screwed survey. Maybe that could be our derivative. We'll make that yes. one. Yes. I think we just did. Thanks, Pops. Thank you.